disease in the world and where in the past many children were separated from their parents during the segregation policy. As evidenced in the report, this disease is associated with systemic inequality and discrimination, both aggravated with the COVID-19. This pandemic has shown, with stark evidence, the unprecedented unpreparedness of the current government, which has caused the virus to spread out of control. As pointed out in the report, our country faces enormous challenges regarding poverty, sanitation and human rights. Data shows that these rights have been suffering setbacks in the past five years. Austerity measures, as the Constitutional Amendment 95, but a strengthening cap on government spending, cutting up to 30 billion reais in health investments in three years. Faced by all these challenges, but taking into deep consideration the relevance of today's national scenario, we would like to recommend the Brazilian state to accomplish the rapporteur's recommendation to provide urgent reparation to individuals who as children were separated from their parents, affected by Hansen's disease and segregated from society. Thank you very much, and I'll give the floor to you. I visited Brazil in May 2019. Out of respect to the country, I will not speak henceforth of leprosy, but of Hansen's disease. Brazil officially changed the name of leprosy to Hansen's disease as early as the 1970s. According to the WHO, Brazil has the second highest absolute number of new cases of Hansen's disease in the world. During the last decades of the 20th century, Brazil played a pioneering role in combating Hansen's disease-related discrimination, for which the rights-based constitution, the expertise of national researchers, and continuous struggle of a sturdy organization of persons affected were key. Also of particular relevance are the 1995 law that combat discriminatory language and the 2007 law that compensate for past damage with a permanent and special measure based on material reparation. Moreover, structurally vulnerable groups suffer from a disproportionate impact of stigmatization on the grounds of Hansen's disease. Efforts should simultaneously target socioeconomic disadvantage through redistributive measures that can ensure a minimum standard of living and stigma reduction strategies based on special measures in the fields of education, vocational training, inclusion in the formal labor market and social protection. Lastly, Pending issues such as the situation of individuals who were segregated in the past while children into confinement institutions on the grounds that their parents were affected by Hansen's disease and who have suffered gross human rights violations demand urgent action. I have called the government's attention to this specific issue, not only on my report, but also on a communication sent last year, and once more take the opportunity to emphasize the urgency of moving forward with a comprehensive reparation program. Mm -hmm.